Who the fuck is so exhausted after coffee? Sing it please then, let's go! A one third espresso! A one third espresso! I love the cake! <laughs> So I've been at the University of St. Andrews for about a year and a half now. I have to admit, I haven't really tried many coffee shops here and I love coffee, but I usually just make it at home. And if I do buy coffee in town, I usually just go to like Starbucks or Costa. So I thought it'd be nice to kind of branch out and try every single coffee shop in a day and just test what cafe is actually the best. So I asked my expat mates, Hannah and Darren, if they'd like to join me on this mission. And they said yes. <laughs> serious guys, serious. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> These are some shenanigans. <laughs> Anyways, Hannah and Darren are both vegan and I only drink plant milk as well. So we decided that our control coffee would be an oat cappuccino. Also, we disregarded any places that do sell coffee but aren't necessarily cafes. And we also ignored big chains like Starbucks, Costa or Pret. So we only went to like the independent coffee shops in St. Andrews. So I think there were 11 of them. <sighs> So the first cafe we went to is the cafe in the park. So it's situated in a museum. I'm here with Hannah and Darren. Hello. Hello. And this is the first place that we're gonna try. <laughs> oh guys, you know what I done? I made a spreadsheet. <laughs> what we're rating it on is the taste, the size, right. the proportion of milk. <gasps> I've never been here. But unfortunately, they didn't have any plant milk, so we didn't buy any coffee. So then we walked to the center of St. Andrews, and the first stop was Rector's Cafe, which is in the Students' Union. Oh, this looks delicious. Delicioso. Mm, that is good coffee. Can you look at that? There's yeah, a deep foam. Yeah, there's a deep foam in that. Oh, I do like and I'm, the And I'm not foam. sure how I feel about that. Oh, you don't like foam? Well, oh, no, it's okay, but like, I feel like it's taken away from the mid coffee I get. That's really nice. It is really mm. nice. Like how, like, spongy. Spongy. Oh my god, have you seen the video of the guy eating the creme caramel? Oh, yeah. There's no coffee shops down there, right? It's just the bees. So the next stop was the bees cafe, where I actually got an iced coffee. So I kind of ruined the control of the investigation. Bibi's cafe definitely has more of like a brunch vibe. We're in Bibi's cafe. So we're just getting an iced latte. You can taste the milk a little bit though. Yeah. A little bit too much. It looks so small in your hand. <laughs> I'm not impressed. No. Really? No. So I'm not too much of a fan of bees drinks so. though. Really do it. They told me off for filming in there, so I feel really awkward. <laughs> the taste of the coffee was good, but there was quite a lot of milk in the coffee. coffee. We also just did it directly outside taste. Right? Yeah. We're going next, which is quite awkward. <laughs> did they, do you think? Oh, they, they saw us. Yeah. <laughs> Can we do a leap? I don't want to go in there. I don't want to go in there. So we just went further down the road to the old Union coffee shop. See, I've never actually been there. So it's gonna be a new experience. Old Union coffee shop. Beautiful. Cute. A little biscuit as well. It's not as good as the record. Really? Oh! It's also extremely hot. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's not as good. It's maybe too much coffee to melt. Yeah. It's yeah. more <laughs> You know what we need? You know how in perfume shops you smell coffee beans to like clear your smelling buds? Yeah, your palate. Yeah. Hence your palate. Now we should smell like perfume to cleanse our palate. I'll draw like a graph. Your data analysis is even gonna work. <laughs> Why? Are you gonna graph like the average sc score for, for each? each for and I'll do like bar graphs, bar charts. Yeah. Are you gonna graph them in Python? Yes. But you're not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I'll use. Oh, I'll use R Studio. <laughs> no, don't use R. <laughs> coffee was quite average but according to Hannah they have an amazing London fog so if you ever go to the old Union coffee shop then maybe try that instead of the coffee so then the next destination was the North Point cafe it kind of felt grandma-ish but in a really good way oh it's quite busy <laughs> and the food was really good as well there were some vegan options for Hannah and Darren so that was nice when I think back now, I don't actually remember what the coffee tasted like, which makes me think that it was probably average, but overall it was such a nice coffee shop if you take into account the food and the vibe and the interior. So yeah, I definitely want to go there more often. So afterwards, we went back to Taste. Taste is one of the most popular coffee shops in St. Andrews, right? But it's really like tight, like there's not much space. So it's more of a to-go coffee shop. Yeah, that's also, true, yeah. last time I went there, I dropped <laughs> a brownie on the ground. Two brownies. Twice. <laughs> it has a nice cozy vibe and really good desserts. And honestly, yeah, they make amazing coffee. But the drawbacks are that it's really, really small inside. So it's more of a to-go cafe. And also you can only pay by cash. It is. I like it. I know it's like where the bougie people go. Yeah. It's where I went with my mom. <laughs> on the open day and I got my first London fog in St Andrews there and the vegan brownie Hello. walking by Starbucks and <laughs> <laughs> not going in <laughs> I think this is actually one of my favorites now yeah. so afterwards we went to Gambini cafe which is like a minimalistic plant-based Japanese cafe so the coffee that we got there was like an iced filter coffee without milk wow that's strong really <laughs> that's good coffee though but I do need a little bit of milk there I'm gonna like have a spasm <laughs> directly from Japan yeah. oh. you don't like it it might be the straw you think so does that does no one else get a really weird taste from that no it's got a coffee taste it doesn't taste like coffee to me well that's a zero for me oh Ooh. really <laughs> I think it'd be really good if it was hot it is sour. Mm, I wouldn't say sour. Aww. I mean, I see where you're coming from. Thank you. I personally quite enjoyed it. Like, it had a very interesting taste. But Hannah hated it. Like, she gave it a zero. But Darren just didn't like that it was cold. Apparently, he'd give it a four if it was hot. So, that's that. <laughs> so, afterwards, we went to Cafe in the Square, which, honestly, I had no idea existed. But it's so cute inside. It kind of reminds me of, like, a cottage or like a farmhouse i don't know <laughs> they also offer a lot of vegan options so there were a lot of vegan cakes and like vegan meals so it's like vintage yeah. the coffee there was quite small but really good but we were like exhausted by that point like we were sick of coffee <laughs> we should not be having this much caffeine <laughs> it's giving me a headache oh no that's really good yeah it's like breakfast yeah i get that i get, I get that thing I don't know. <laughs> the trouble is, everybody uses acrylic Thank you, Adele. <laughs> <laughs> oh, genius. I don't think we're gonna sleep. Ever, actually. <laughs> Never again. Never again. <laughs> Ready for bed? Yeah. I feel like a popcorn would be easier than this. Oh, darn. It would. Yeah, let's go pay. Do you even stand up anymore? Oh, it's getting dark now. Yeah. Uh, 4 p.m. After that, we went to the cottage kitchen, 
where I ordered an iced latte. The iced coffee there was literally perfect. It had like the best taste and the best milk to coffee ratio. If you're gonna pull a metal straw, I'm gonna be so sad. Aww. That's a good one. It's nice, but I prefer hot coffee. Cute, cute, cute. What are you off to him? I'm with him, I'm with you. Hold your wish. No. Hold your wish. What does that mean? Shut up. Wow. I'm ready. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> okay. We've spent the last four hours just drinking coffee. <laughs> Who the fuck is so exhausted after coffee? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Overall, the coffee was good, the atmosphere was good, like very cozy, and it was quite spacious as well. Then we went to We Are Zest Cafe, they sell coffee beans and like coffee products there as well. Hello. Guess what I ordered? Uh, a cappuccino. <laughs> Sing it, please, Let's go. Oh, wow. One third espresso, one third creamy milk, or another third milk. Wow, that was rapid. <laughs> Again. Thanks. Oh, thank you. A cute cock. It's up to them. We are Zest. I taste like cappuccino. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At first, we didn't actually like the coffee. Maybe because like we were sick of coffee by that point But we added like three sugars and then it was really good You can like taste that the coffee beans are like special Like they're... <laughs> well, we're, we're real snobs now Much better, right? That's so much better Let me got my energy back It's the sugar <laughs> Afterwards, we wanted to go to the Campana coffee shop, but they were closing. So instead, we went to our last stop, which was gorgeous. Last coffee of the day, guys. Last coffee of the day is like 5 p.m. <laughs> Personally, I was a huge fan of the interior because it was all like vintage old stuff. Um, Hannah found it really creepy. <laughs> this is a very Adele vibe. This is. But the coffee on the other hand was quite watery so we didn't really like it but I'm definitely gonna go back there for some scones because the scone I had was incredible It's quite bland actually Oh it's quite watery Mmm <laughs> Good Mmm it's delicious <laughs> Overall I really like the vibe Like it's just a really like vintage. Very Adela vibe Yeah can you change the video with the flash on? Yeah. Oh. In conclusion, <laughs> um, in this investigation, we've analyzed about 11 different coffees and coffee shops in St. Andrews. There's been a lot of watery coffees, but there's also been quite good coffees. There's some really good coffee. Yeah. Well. Uh, there's been a lot of overpriced coffees. Definitely. But overall, I think it's been nice that we kind of discovered different places. Mm -hmm. My favorite coffee is from the cottage kitchen, the iced one, because I do like myself. So that iced was, coffee that was a good one actually. Mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I think taste if it was bigger. I love the cozy. <laughs> I love the cozy. <laughs> I really like the cosy vibe of taste because it feels like you're in your living room, but it is also the size of the living room, yeah. so you can never sit there. Yeah. So yeah, the cottage kitchen is the winner. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye!